Hi there. In this video, I'll be answering a question about the photoelectric effect, calculating the work function of a metal, and explaining a little about the equations used in this type of question. Here's a question from the 2008 Old Hire paper. To explain the photoelectric effect, light can be considered as consisting of tiny bundles of energy. These bundles of energy are called photons. Part A then asks us to sketch a graph to show the relationship between photon energy and frequency. So here's the equation which links photon energy E and the frequency F of the photons. H is a constant known as Planck's constant, which can be found in the data sheets at the front of the exam paper. This means that photon energy E is directly proportional to frequency F. So a graph of energy against frequency would be a straight line through the origin like this. Part B says photons of frequency 6.1 times 10 to the 14 hertz are incident on the surface of a metal. This releases photoelectrons from the surface of the metal. The maximum kinetic energy of any of these photoelectrons is 6.0 times 10 to the negative 20 joules. We're then asked to calculate the work function of the metal. So for this question, we use the equation EK is equal to HF minus HF naught. This is how it appears in the relationship sheet. EK is the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons, referred to as photoelectrons here. HF is the energy of each photon, which is of course related to the frequency. And HF naught is what we're trying to find here, the work function of the metal. The work function is the minimum energy of a photon required to cause photoemission, the release of an electron from a metal surface when light of sufficient energy is incident on it. The term F naught is known as the threshold frequency, which is the minimum frequency of a photon required to cause photoemission. Since we're asked to find work function, we can rearrange the equation to make this the subject, like so. We can then substitute our values of frequency and kinetic energy into the equation, along with Planck's constant H, from the data sheet. This gives us an answer of 3.44 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Different metals would have a different work function, and therefore a different threshold frequency. Finally, part C says the irradiance due to these photons on the surface of the metal is now reduced. Explain why the maximum kinetic energy of each photoelectron is unchanged. So we can use the equation from part B to answer this. If irradiance is reduced, but the frequency of the photons remains constant, then the energy of each photon, HF, will also be constant. Since the metal is not changing, the work function would also be constant, meaning that the maximum kinetic energy of each photoelectron is unchanged. We could write something like this. Each photon has the same energy, and work function is a constant for each metal. So the maximum kinetic energy of each photoelectron must be unchanged. What would be altered, though, is the number of electrons ejected from the metal surface. If irradiance is reduced, then less photons are incident on the metal surface. Each photon can only eject one electron, so as a result, the number of electrons ejected would decrease. And that's the end of our question. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.